Theo is something that has popped up as a topic over the last few days. Um, I've been listening to a few things and also talking to some of the people I'm coaching. Um, and I think it's a really interesting, um, really interesting emotion, a really interesting energy. Um, and it's something that I think maybe doesn't get talked about enough in terms of uh, performance and, and sort of whatever level of performance you're uh, trying to operate at um, and I think there's there's a couple of different types of fear um, the useful fear and the fear that we need is that fight or flight fear so you're in danger you feel fear and then you're able to react and do something about it either get yourself out of danger or respond in ever in whatever way you need to but then there's the fear that holds us back and gives us anxiety and makes us nervous um, and sometimes inhibits performance so fear of failing fear of letting people down fear of looking silly um, fear of exposure fear of vulnerability um, there's a lot of different types of fear that come attached with trying to achieve something um, and that plays out a lot in sport so um, you get you learn the skill of your sport you get uh, to a position where you've probably gone through learning the basics and then you move on to trying to achieve something um, and that's often where fear kicks in um, and can sometimes be really uh, challenging um, and unhelpful um, but I think it's it's really interesting to sort of get a, a sense of sense of what it is that you are scared of like and ultimately um, it all those things can be wrapped up under the the blanket of fear of not being good enough so that that feeling that you're going to be exposed somehow it's all about your internal perception of what people are experiencing of you externally so how do your actions manifest them selves to other people um, and it's really powerful because we don't want to look foolish and we want to fit in um, and we don't want to be embarrassed and we certainly don't want to feel shame around what we're what we're doing um, so I think it's a it's an interesting topic it's popped up um, I'm going to explore it in more detail um, and talk about it more in the future but I just wanted to start the conversation now. Um, two people that I think are really worth listening to and looking at are Pippa Grange um, and Brene Brown and both of them have absolutely amazing um, discussions. Uh, Pippa talks about Pippa Grange, she talks about, um, uh, she's written a book called Fearless so not being fearless because she believes that it's good to have some fear um, but um, she was the performance psychologist for the England football team, um, the men's football team. Um, and she's got some really amazing podcasts that I'll put links to um, and an incredible book. Um, and Brene Brown talks about vulnerability um, and both of them talk about shame um, and how that emotion can have a powerful impact on how we deal with uh, situations and um and the impact it can have on how we approach putting ourselves out there in a competitive environment. Um, so really, really important discussion, really powerful women talking about it in a really incredible way. So um, it's something that I will look at exploring a little bit more, um, but I just thought it'd be good to get started on the topic. So I'll put some links uh, in the notes below. All right, have a good day. Bye.